Hey everybody, Tails here. Today I'm going to see what happens if you put a foreign disc into a Wii, the uh, original Wii. This is, um, I got picked this up at Salvation Army for about 20 bucks, and uh, overall I really like it, and I feel like I haven't done a foreign disc video in a while. And, uh, you know, um, I'll do, I've already done this before, but I'll do it again just for you guys, since uh, everyone likes the Wii videos, but anyway, um, let's uh, begin. I don't know what this is doing here, I forgot. That was over here. <laughs> Alright, just show you how it works. We have Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition. Pretty good game, even though it's just a. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> As I dropped the disc, even though it's just the Wii version of uh, Resident Evil 4, which is um, like on the 360 and all that. I mean, it's a good game, like to be honest. I find it interesting that they're having like M rated games on the, the Wii system. But overall, it sounds pretty cool. Alright, and there you go, it works. And, uh, yeah, let's just see it play and all. Yep, so you can hear it reading. Yeah, I don't have the, the nunchuck. Oops. Alright, yeah, let's just, yeah, we can do that. Well, at least it works, though, that's a good thing. Here we go. Oh yeah, that also features a like a little picture over there as well. All right. Next up is my favorite GameCube game. Like not my favorite of all time, but at least my favorite. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2. Difficult but enjoyable. I love the Need for Speed series, which is uh oh yeah my <laughs> do a remote. Alright, yep, so as you can see, GameCube works, and you can also take the memory card, put right in here. I still don't know why I have that PS PS1 game over there. And controller. You will still need the Wii Remote just to start it up, but... Yeah, let's see what we get. Yep. EA to the game. Yeah, EA has made, made some pretty good games, except for, uh, yeah, there were some of them that didn't do well, like uh, Battlefront 2 and uh, Bionicle the game and all that, but overall this game is pretty good. So, uh, yeah, and here you go, the game works. This might have a Wii U game, New Super Mario Bros. U on the Wii U. See if it works. Disc felt a bit um, oily. It felt like a Blu-ray disc, but I don't usually like feel that on the Wii U game. But, uh, yeah, let's see if it works. All right, so unable to read it. Does not work. All right, just put it to the side for now. I have a PS1 game up next. Pop-Puff Girls Chemical Extraction. Let's see if it works. Alright, so it does not work. That's disappointing. Alright. Just put it back in the case. I'm holding my camera while I'm doing this. But, uh, yeah, it does not work. Alright. Let me just take out the the rest of these. Uh, we have Thrillville on the PS2. Good game. Let's see if it works. You can hear it reading. All right, I can hear it reading in there. Alright, it does not work. Disappointing. Alright, hang on a second. Sorry guys, I just had to uh, grab something. Alright, we have Assassin's Creed for the PS3. Let's see what it does. Yeah, I hope I get a PS2, that would be pretty awesome. 
I can hear it reading in there. I can hear it skipping a little. I didn't hear how it occurred. Press the eject button to remove the disc, then turn the Wii console off and refer to the Wii Operations Manual for help troubleshooting. Alright. Alright. I'm guessing it'll do the same for uh, Call of Duty on the PS4, but we'll still try it anyway. Oh yeah, turn the console off. Turn it back on again. Here we go. So I'll just put the PS3 game down here and uh, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare on the PS4. Let's see what we get. About the same as the uh, PS3 disc. And still, I'll try it anyway. Unable to read disc. Okay, it did not expect that. Thought it was going to do the same as the uh, PS3 game. Next up I have uh, Halo 2 on the original Xbox. Disappointed that it's not compatible on the uh, Xbox One. Really is a good game. Alright, does not read it. Again. Alright. I have Soul Calibur 4 I believe. Yeah, Soul Calibur 4 for the 360. What? No 360 games? What's well, another disappointment? Alright, Mirror's Edge Catalyst. I did a video on this, um, like recently. But it's going to do the same as the uh, PS3 game. I'm thinking of getting a PS4. I'm not really into the Xbox One. Yeah, it's reading. Doing the same as the PS3 game. It's going to get that warning again. Yep. Called it. Alright, let's turn it off, turn it back on again. Probably going to see my cool background again. Alright, there we go. Yep, there's my cool background right there. Alright. Now for uh, some DVDs and other stuff. Alright, we have Simpsons Music CD. Let me just... Yeah, here's the channel and <laughs> oh yeah that's all right all right we have simpsons sing the blues music cd honestly like the simpsons disappointed in the most recent seasons i feel like it hasn't been doing well all right unable to redisc I wish Simpsons was uh, better like they used to be. Oh well. Alright. We have a X Men X Men DVD. Uh, I'll just do this first class DVD. Also, my favorite movie. I haven't seen all of them. I know I've seen this one. DVDs don't work, that's disappointing. Unless we could like uh like just put a mod chip in there or something, but yeah, that doesn't work. Alright. Blu-ray, Dragon Ball Revolution. Now uh, this hate this thing. Alright. Alright. Let's see what we get. It's doing the same as the PS3 in the Xbox One game. I'm I'm just gonna take it out. 
I obviously know it's going to do that. Alright. Alright, hang on a second. Next up, I have a PC game, the final disc there, there will be in this video. Alright. It's uh, Star Wars Jedi Academy. Yeah, this is an interesting case to me. Alright, unable to read the disc. Disappointment. Maybe I'll play it a bit later. Alright, now for some uh, bonuses. Let's um, exit out of the Wii menu. Let's go to the Wii option. Data. Oh. I didn't watch channels. Uh, save data. GameCube. Yeah, so here's the GameCube memory card. That at least works. Need for Speed 2. Sonic Heroes. Monkey Ball. Most of these are just Sonic games. Because I'm a Sonic fan. Alright. I have uh, Ballistic on the Game Boy. Alright. Yeah, I don't see anything. Alright. We have Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland. Star Wars Battlefront Elite Squadron on the DS. Once again, does not work. Pokemon Rumble Blast. Let's see. Yep, still nothing. Alright, Sega Game Gear game. Sonic 2. Yep, still nothing. Alright, let's try the next uh, Sega game. Alright, NBA Live 96 for the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive. I'm not, I think it's Genesis. Mega Drive was the European name for the Sega, uh, Sega Genesis. Alright. Yep, nothing. Let's just put it to the side. Alright, Spider Man Friends Doc Ox Challenge in the V Smile. I had a V-Smile, not this game, but I like a few others. Most of them were just based off movies. Yep, does not work. Asteroids on the Atari 2600. Actually looks pretty cool like that, <laughs> to be honest. And, uh, yeah, does not work. I'll have to get a Namco collection or something. Alright, finally, a VHS tape, Men in Black. Men in Black tape, sorry the video was cut, um, and it does not work. Alright, that's it for this video, hope you guys enjoyed, see you guys in the next one, peace.